How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and in today's video, we are reacting to String Theory Explained. What is the true nature of reality by In a Nutshell? Alright, so a uh, shout out to Alonzo Reyes. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Uh, I think it's very, very interesting, like... I'm pretty sure if y'all have seen any of my other videos that have to do with the universe and stuff, I am a sucker for that stuff. Like, it, just the things that make you think and, like, what's actually beyond the beyond uh, intrigues me so much. And this one, he, he did tell me that it's kind of like the theory of all theories, so I'm super excited to give this a whirl, but... Wait, give this a whirl? I don't think I've ever said that before in my life. <laughs> But anyway, without any further ado, here is String Theory Explained. What is the true nature of the universe? Ooh, to answer this question, humans so come pretty. up with stories to describe the world. Is that the turtle from we It? Our stories or Dark Towers? What to keep and what to throw away. But the more we learn, the more complicated and weird our stories become. That is very true. <laughs> Some of them, so much so that it's really hard to know what they're actually about. Huh. Like string theory, a famous, controversial, and often misunderstood story about the nature of everything. Why did we come up with it, and is it correct, or just an idea we should chuck out? Okay. I'm so down. Oh, uh, this is gonna be so intriguing. I can already tell. To understand the true nature of reality, uh, we looked at things up close and were amazed. Oh. Wondrous <laughs> landscapes in the dust. Zillions of bizarre creatures, Fun. complex protein robots, protein All of them robots made from structures of molecules made up of countless, even smaller things, atoms. I was about we to say it. they were the final layer Takes it away of reality from me. until we smashed them together really hard and discovered things that can't be divided anymore. Huh. Elementary particles. But now we had a problem. <laughs> Just the so guy small Just... that we could no longer look at them. Oh, think about it. What is seeing? To see something, we need light, an electromagnetic wave. Ooh. This wave hits the surface of the thing <laughs> and gets reflected back from it into your eye. Oh! The information from the object that your brain uses to create an image. That's so you really can't cool. Though. See something without somehow interacting with it. Seeing is touching, an active process, <laughs> not a passive one. This is not a problem with most things. But particles are very, very, very small. Very. So small that the electromagnetic waves we use to see are too big to touch them. Huh. Visible light just passes over them. We That's why I really like the Ant-Man movie. Electromagnetic waves with more and much smaller wavelengths. You but got more this! wavelengths means more energy. So when we touch a particle with a wave that has a lot of energy, it alters it. Aww. By looking at a particle, we change it. So we can't measure elementary particles precisely. <laughs> we try our best. This fact is so important all you can do, buddy. that it has a name. The Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, the huh. basis of all quantum physics. So, so quantum what does physics a particle is, look like uh, then? It's what just is uncertain. Its we don't know. Hmm. If we look really hard, we can see a blurry sphere of influence, but not the particles themselves. We just know they exist. Anyone in there? The case, no? Okay, how can bye. We do any science with them? We did what humans do and invented a new story, a mathematical fiction. Huh. The story of the point particle. We decided that we would pretend that a particle is a point in space. Any electron is a point with a certain electric charge and a certain mass, all indistinguishable from each other. Our this electrons way, are completely identical. To find them and calculate all of their interactions. This is called quantum field theory oh. and solved a lot of problems. <laughs> nice. All of the standard model of particle physics is built on it, and it predicts lots of things very well. The leptons look like Some quantum gauges. properties of the electron, for example, have been tested and are accurate up to 0.0000000000002%. Awesome. At least so it's not one. particles are not really points. By treating them as if they were, we get a pretty good picture Ooh. of the universe. Not only did this idea advance science, it also led to a lot of real-world technology we use every day. But there's a huge problem, Sir Isaac gravity. Man? In quantum mechanics, all physical forces are carried by certain particles. 
But according to Einstein's general relativity, gravity is not a force like the others in the universe. If the universe is a play, particles are the actors, but gravity is the stage. Ah, that's a really good way to look at it. Gravity is a theory of geometry, the geometry of space-time itself, of distances which we need to describe with absolute precision. Huh. But since there is no way to precisely measure things in the quantum world, our story of gravity doesn't work with our story of quantum physics. When physicists tried to add gravity to the story by inventing a new particle, their mathematics broke down. Oh. And this is a big problem. If we could marry gravity to quantum physics and the standard model, we would have the theory of everything. Yeah. So very oh. smart people came up with a new story. They asked, what is more complex than a point? A line or a string? String okay. theory was born. Ah, uh, I got string you. String theory so elegant is that it describes many different elementary particles as Whoa. different modes of vibration of the Reminds string. me of like the old school Just when you like listen to music on a Windows. Vibrating oh, that's cool. Can give you a lot of different notes. Thingies a are on the screen. Can give you different particles. Most importantly, this includes gravity. String theory promised to unify all you fundamental this, bro. forces of the universe. Balance. This caused enormous excitement and hype. <laughs> String theory quickly graduated to a possible theory of everything. Nice. Unfortunately, string theory comes with a lot of strings attached. Ha. Much of the maths involving a consistent string theory though. does not work in our universe with its three spatial and one temporal dimensions. String theory requires 10 dimensions Whoa. to work out. So string theorists Picasso take calculations bird. in model universes and then try to get rid of the six additional dimensions and describe our own universe. But so far, nobody has succeeded and <laughs> no prediction of string theory How's has it been proven in an experiment. It's gone great. So string theory did not reveal the nature of our universe. One could argue Darn that shame. in this case, string theory really isn't yeah, useful just back at all. Away, bro. Science is all about experiments and predictions. If we can't do those, why should we bother with strings? It really is all about how we use it. Physics is based on maths. Two plus two makes four. Yes. This is true no matter how you feel about it. And the maths in string theory does work out. That's why string theory is still useful. Imagine that you want to build a cruise ship, but you only have blueprints for a small rowing boat. Okay. There are plenty of differences. The engine, the materials, the scale. Yes. But both things are fundamentally the same. Things that float. Yes. He is not wrong. So by studying the rowing boat blueprints, you might still learn something about how to build a cruise ship eventually. Uh-huh. With string theory, we can try to answer some Don't questions do it, bro. about quantum gravity that have been puzzling physicists for decades, Ooh, such as turn how it to a bird. work or the information paradox. String theory may point wow. us in the right direction. When used in their spirit, <laughs> string theory becomes a precious tool for theoretical physicists and help them discover new aspects Whoa. of the quantum world and some beautiful mathematics. So maybe the story of string theory is not the theory of everything. <laughs> but just like the story of the point particle, it may be an extremely useful story. We don't yet know what the true nature of reality is, <laughs> but we'll keep coming up with stories to try and find out until one day, hopefully, we do know. This that is video amazing. Was supported by the Swiss National Science Foundation and realized with the scientific advice of Alessandro Sfondrini. Awesome. Thanks for all of this to make a really awesome video. All right. That was really, really interesting. Okay. So a lot of stuff to try to talk about in this video. So basically like what it narrows down to is... To be a scientist, you have to ask a lot of questions, like a lot of questions, and you might not even know the answers yourself, but someone down the line hopefully will, and that's what's really, really intriguing about it. It's like, I don't know, it's just questions, like that's really all it is, but the string theory is, I, I, don't, I don't know, I mean, I've never heard about it up until this video, which is probably really weird, but I don't know, like... To know everything, I don't, I don't think we're supposed to. Like, that might be, again, this is all just my opinions and stuff, but I really don't think we're supposed to know everything in the universe. Well, it's kind of like, how, how do, how do I explain this? Like, dumb it down a little bit. It's kind of like, um, like a mystery movie or something, like a suspenseful movie that you're watching, but they tell you everything 
at the very beginning. Like that's that's not enjoyable. That's not it's not fun anymore. And uh, if you know everything, well, then there goes like all the questions and all the fun stuff that will. It, again, this is my opinions, but I think all this is fun. But uh, yeah, it, it just it kind of throws all that out the window, and it's like, well, we already know it, so there's no sense of doing anything else about it, you know? Like it kind of ruins the the mood, the funness, the the theorizing, like everything. It's it's crazy, but again, that's just my opinion. But I don't know. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I really really enjoy it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.